Well, hello there, ghouls and ghosts. Welcome to the Halloween special. We have a real treat in store for you tonight. We'll be looking at some scary collectibles and playing a spooky retro video game. Visit some Halloween stores. And we have musical guest Lame Genie on the show tonight. But first things first, we need to start off with something to fill our bellies. Lord knows I'm dying to eat something. <laughs> Alright guys, Halloween time, October. You know what they kick out at the grocery store. I had to go to the store, Target, my store of choice, and pick up... Boom! Boo Berries! <laughs> the Halloween cereal. Now this also comes in other flavors. Count Chocula, a fan favorite. Um, they also have... Uh, let's see what else here. Frankenberry and Boo Berry is the uh, three of these ones. But they, they kicked out. Kellogg's also kicked out. Um, they had a Frosted Flakes with Tony the Tiger on it. And um, there was also a Spooky Fruit Loops. And I didn't see the Apple Jacks at the store. They were sold out. So people must have liked that. But I figured I'd give a shot at Boo Berry. I never had it before. Growing up, you know, I'd always get Count Chocula. The Count Chocolate one there. Uh, Boo Berries. Monster Marshmallows. Right on the pack there. So let's pour myself a bowl and get into it. All right, let's give it a go here. Plenty of ghosts in here and some spooky marshmallows. All right. A subtle hint of the blueberry in there, boo berry. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. It's not over sweet. There's not a whole lot of marshmallows in here just a few and it's mostly the ghost right here which kind of looked like uh, almost like a pac-man ghost <laughs> but yeah i enjoy it and you can see the back of the box here is really cool i like the um the graphics they got in here a little cartoon of all the cereals here dressed up frankenberry count chocula and they have uh the tricks rabbit over here <laughs> lucky charms is dressed up as a ghost really cool this party's haunted. Can you find all 10 hidden ghosts? So see, you have to go through and see who's in here. The checks, guys. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Talk about feeding a ghostly appetite. Well, that was just to wet your whistle. Let's reminisce about going to Halloween stores and what they have to offer. I'm sure they don't charge an arm and a leg. So I decided to head out and check out a few Halloween stores. I went by Party City, which is close to my house, and it is pretty close to Halloween. So a lot of stuff that they had earlier in the month is now not there. But it was still cool walking around the aisle, seeing what they had left. Of course, there's the wall of costumes, which you can see a picture of the costume and a number attached to that. And then you would tell an associate you know, which costume you wanted to go try on or purchase, essentially. And I was surprised at how many video game costumes that they had. Of course, there's Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, the common ones there. But I seen some from Fortnite, since that's real big with the kids. So there was a lot of Fortnite accessories that you can have. And there was even Kratos from God of War, the newest God of War game. You could get an outfit that looks similar to his outfit in there. Of course, you would have to get some white, you know, face paint and powder to put your skin more like that. But that was pretty neat. And then, of course, it's cool to look at all the masks that you could put on, um, all the different sorts of scary masks, latex masks, or something more simple, like just a plastic Jason hockey mask. I did end up picking this one up for $5 from Party City, so eventually I'm going to turn it into something a little bit better. Now, something I haven't seen before are these fake tattoo 
like sheets you can buy all different ones if you want it to be like i guess a thug or like a prisoner or something like that who would have a lot of tattoos associated with him you can get these packs and apply them you know on your neck face or whatever and go out like that so that was kind of neat other than getting the prosthetics you know to have like scars on your face and stuff like that so and of course they have all the decorations that you could put in and around your house in case you're having a party or you just want your house to look festive. I always enjoy the press here on the things that make sound or movement. It's always cool to see what they, uh, you know, what they're going to do. Of course, I'm sure the associates hate it. <laughs> and so after Party City, I headed down the street to check out Spooky Town Halloween Superstore. It's kind of one of those stores that just pop up in an in old uh, abandoned building, essentially. A store was there, closed, and then these Halloween stores come in, essentially, for a month. So I wanted to see what they had. Now walking in, they definitely had a lot more than Party City. They had a lot of decorations, tons of decorations you could get for parties, props, plenty of costumes, masks, and everything else. They had these weird Freddy Krueger like hand stakes. Like I guess you just put them in the ground or somewhere where it's like a tiny Freddy hand with like a stake on it. Interesting. I never seen that before. Then of course they have the wall of all the different latex masks. And of course you have all the classics. You got some Michael Myers, some demons. They had some Simpson characters as well. Scary clown masks, demons. I already said demons. There's so many demons. And then I was just taking a walk up and down each aisle. They're almost kind of themed like one aisle had a bunch of like mummy costumes you can be for his and her or zombies. And they had like rotted parts, uh, shirts with like rips in them and exposed organs and stuff like that. And they did have a few video game costumes as well. They had two Overwatch uh, characters that you can be. They had, of course, a uh, Link and you could also get a wig. Uh, for Link as well. They had Donkey Kong, which looked pretty sweet. It was like a full outfit, and Donkey Kong's head was on top there. It was a little pricey. I think it was like 80 bucks. Of course, they got Princess Peach there, and then a plumber girl, which is like a girl version of Luigi, I guess. Sexy Luigi, if you want. <laughs> they did have some pretty cool blow-up costumes at front, where you could be the State Puff Marshmallow Man, and they had Slimer as well, which looked pretty sweet. But I had picked up everything that I wanted, and um, I was asking the people at the checkout if I can purchase. They had styrofoam heads, which they put the mask on in there. They were there, so I was like, can I buy one? She said she'd give me one for five bucks. So I was like, sweet, I'll take that home and I can use it as a display. So I did pick up that Jason mask and then I also got a Freddy uh, glove here. Glove was uh, $14.99. I'm gonna be painting this eventually. I'm gonna be doing a cosplay of Freddy, but of course in NES color scheme. So in that orange and red. I had already picked up a hat. Right there, I got my little fedora, so. I just need essentially pants and a sweater and then maybe I'll get a mask. I'm not sure if we're gonna go mask or just like latex paint, who knows. <laughs> so that's a future build. We'll be doing Freddy Krueger NES themed. Ring the bells for my delicious chocolate cereal, Count Chocula. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Don't cry. It's me, Booberry, with my ghostly good cereal, Booberry. Everybody knows Count Chocula has chocolate marshmallows. But to ring my chimes, Booberry has blueberry flavored marshmallows. Ding dong. What? Your ding dongs woke me up. <laughs> you can enjoy this nutritious breakfast with Booberry. Count Chocula. Well, ghouls, October is filled with plenty of horror, but if you wanted to get your fix back in the day on your Nintendo, there were only a handful of games that had a spooky vibe. Let's see one in action. All right, guys, we're going to check out Monster in My Pocket, a pretty awesome series. Uh, they had little figures for it, and of course, uh, they had to release a video game, so there it is. All jumping out your pocket. <laughs> This is a fun uh, platformer game, and you can do two players, and you can choose between two people. You can play as a vampire, or you can play as the monster, because it's not Frankenstein. That's the name of the scientist. <laughs> I 
We'll go with the vampire, though. He's got a cool cape. A little Easter egg they're watching on a Konami TV. Oh, there's the bad guy. Ha 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 ha! I sent out my henchmen! While you were watching TV, they will defeat you. Come on, Warlock. We will beat you. So that's the bad guy. Warlock is his name. <laughs> and off we go. Definitely great sprite work in this. Stage one, monsters in my house. So he's got a little punch with some oomph to it. Psh! You get a double jump. Look at these skeletons. And these are all, um, you know, little guys you can get. You can pick up that key. Oh. Don't lose your head. And use it as a weapon. Oh, totally missed. <laughs> I'm gonna get someone with the key. Bam! Get my heart. Bam! Head this way, I think it's to the right. You go. Oh, a witch. Psh, don't think so. Oh, rolling head. All right, on to the next part of the house. Like those little lion guys. Oh, and a, a griffin. <sighs> oh, we're headed down the stairs now. These are the stairs. Taking many hits. Right, looking for some help. Oh, all the lions are chasing me. Oof. Come on, track. Made it down. There we go. Get the health. All right, we got one more hit. <laughs> we just took it. Ah! All right, we start right back up where we were, though. Get these guys out of here. Oh, boss battle. It's like a cat guy. What is this? It's got a little mask. It looks like a cat throwing knives. There we go, get some hits in. Oh, oh watch that knife. Hm. Boom! Love that deaf sound. <laughs> Bonus! Big trouble in the kitchen. <laughs> Little ghost. Who wants the key? Oh, missed him. Can we get up there yet? Oh, not yet. Oh, took a hit. Oh, I can't go back. There's a little potion over there. Oh, there we go. Get my potion right here. Some tea, block of cheese. Oh. What are those things? Green dogs. You certainly jump high. Definitely reminds me of uh, Rescue Rangers. If you guys played that game on the NES. Very similar because they're small. You go through a kitchen area. Oh god, I need that. Ah, toast! Dropping the eggs. Where we go? Oh, gotta watch the burners here. Oh, 
Oof. Up and over. Whoa! Nice. All right. Oh, in the fridge. Oh, froze me. I'm gonna go up and over him. Oh, that was terrible. Ooh! Alright, we get him, we get him. We still got a couple guys. <laughs> Take that. All oh, those retro graphics got me thirsty. And what better way to crave a dry, dead throat than with a retro drink? Let's see what Russ has in store. All right, guys, while browsing around the store, I saw some other things that were Halloween themed in the food section. So I had to pick up some Capri Sun Kool-Aid or ghoul aid for October. These are scary berry, everything scary, spooky or whatever. So these are little Capri Suns here. You know, you get the straw, you jam it in there and you, you have a drink here. So let's give it a go. Big thing with this, uh, every, <laughs> when I drank these growing up, every time I would put the straw in, the juice would just squirt out. So hopefully it doesn't do that. Get in there. Success. Look at that. All right. So here we go. Scary Berry Goulaid. Hard to drink it to show the, uh, show the front here. Mmm. That is sweet, sugary goodness. I don't know how many I could drink of these, but they, they are definitely sweet. I'm used to drinking uh, water and then just regular juice, but uh, oh yeah, that packs a punch. But I definitely appreciate the packaging with the cool font right here for Kool-Aid. And the Kool-Aid man is dressed up kind of like, uh, I guess, Dracula. He has like the cape and, <laughs> and like a white ruffly thing on there. See back for ghoulish games. What do we got in the back? Looks like they got a word find puzzle you can check out and then find 10 differences between the two scenes. I always can never find all the differences on there, but they give you a couple games, so that's pretty neat. And a cool look at the side of the box there. Well, actually that's the bottom. <laughs> well, it depends how you're putting this box down. Monster. He's bigger than big. When he fights battles, he always wins. Yeah! And he's your friend, too. He breaks his chains. Put him on you and break away, too. Yeah! With my pet monster, you're busting loose. Yeah! He's big. And scary. <laughs> and helps people, too. And he's your friend, too. My pet monster plays all day. Tough. Awesome. Looking great. And all your friends will want him for their friend, too. Yeah! My pet monster has breakaway chains from Amtoy and American Greetings Company. Well, that was a fun retro throwback game. I'm a little sad he didn't pick the monster to play as. Well, speaking of monsters and ghosts, let's check out a creepy haunted Halloween house. I guys decided to take a drive. David Apuzo was telling me he was taking pictures of this house with an awesome Halloween setup. And I wanted to show you guys uh, where it's not quite dark yet, so the lights aren't totally on, but... There's some awesome pumpkins and skeletons. Let's check it out.
spooky. So yeah, we got some awesome B-roll here. I'm actually gonna be coming back here on Halloween to get some awesome video of all the stuff going on because there's gonna be people, actors, that are set up behind here scaring everyone. So it'll be a good time, but that video is gonna unfortunately be past the Halloween special here. So you'll see that later on. All right, back to the house. Ooh, and that certainly was a fright. I would fit right in there. In fact, I think I'll stop by on Halloween to scare some of the trick-or-treaters. Well, let's get back to Russ and see how much further he is in Monster in My Pocket. <laughs> Crisis from underground. We're we traveling under. All right, we're dropping down. So we're going out the front steps. Yep. We're on the street here. Whoo! This took a lot of hits. There we go. Get all my health back. Make a break for it. Ah, oh, golf balls. Oh, I thought I could have jumped up there. <laughs> nope. Is there a fire hydrant? Blast. Ha! There we go. Oh, there we go, falling in the sewer. Sewer monsters. I don't think we're gonna see the turtles. Oof! Hit with some sewer sludge. Oh, it's twice. <laughs> Death again. Game over! Ah. Oh. <laughs> we can continue though. One, two. Perfect. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's a little fish. Run a little soda can or something. Oh, with the knockback. <laughs> well, at least the soda can stops when you jump. Oh, we got an extra life. So close. Make a jump. Nice. Boss battle. Here we go. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. Oh, gotta watch the his little arms coming up. Ah, oh, I took the hit again. Where's he coming? Get one hit in, jump out. Get him. Jump out. Just a slow grind in this guy. Yeah, get a couple more in. Got a couple guys left. We're gonna get him. Just go in, go in here. Boom! <laughs> yeah. Towering catastrophe. Stage four. That means we're going up. Climb the fence. Oh god. We got all the flying animals. Alright, which way are we going? Nope, left. Pretty awesome tune. Watch out for those, whatever that is. Oh, we gotta go in here. <laughs> right in the hook. Kinda gives me some Darkwing Duck vibes. Oh, we could've went back for that. Oh god. Nope.
Oh! Right off the edge. I hit the jump button. <laughs> Come on. Well, enough talk about scaring people. Let's hear from tonight's musical guest, Lane G. Do you want to see my new chainsaw, Huggy Bass? Oh, sorry. What am I thinking? We've come for your freaky floats. What's the magic word? Well, blast your puny planet to smithereens! It was trick or treat! I was going to say that next. Yeah. Yeah. Orange and vanilla, this will please the Alien Federation. The Simpsons are back, haunting Burger King. Now, in every big kid's meal, you can get a Simpsons creepy classic. Each has a spooky, spooky screen. You can collect all ten, if you dare. <laughs> oh, it. Float sold separately. <laughs> what a great performance from the band. They really know how to wink the dead. Well, one last time we'll check in on Russ and his progress with Monster in My Pocket. Perhaps he could beat the game. All right, last continue. Jump. Jump. Okay. Oh, this is the worst. Who knew this part would be so hard? <laughs> okay, we got past it. What is that? Oh boy, about to slide down. <laughs> oh, come on, I had to double jump right up in that. Oh god, here we go, everyone. Take them out one at a time. Perfect. Can use some health. There it is. And take it away.
Mm. Get it. Woo! Boss battle. We going up. Oh god. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, we're still climbing. Will we see the boss? I don't know. Alright, it looks like boss battle. A little gremlin guy in a hook. Okay. Where's he coming? Where's he coming? Oh god. Okay, coming across then comes down, right? Comes across again. Not making it over him. Perfect. Keep it up. Here we go. Got his pattern down, I think we can do it. Oh! As we take a hit. <laughs> oh, there's gotta be a few more hits. Yes! <sighs> High five. Oriental Illusion, stage five. So we're in Japan or something. We got some bamboo in the background. This enemy's a little tougher. Oof. Every few feet. Oh god! <laughs> I was like, that's probably a pit! And we died. Oh, well, that was it. Monster in my pocket. Well, Russ, better luck next time at winning at that retro game. <laughs> now, Jason has always been a fan favorite of mine, especially Retro Jason. In fact, let's check out some of these horrifying collectibles. Well, guys, I wanted to showcase some of my collectibles that I accumulated over the years. And I picked up these reaction figures of Jason and Freddy and I actually did a custom paint job on these guys so they look like their NES counterparts. This video is probably about four to five years old when I did this but it was a fun first experiment. Um, they had come out but it was I believe a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive so you couldn't get them unless you went there. These were only like eight bucks so I bought them, opened them up, painted them and they look great. Um, the look, it's getting a little warpage from <laughs> storage there, but maybe I'll eventually just open it up and display them that way, but I thought these were pretty cool. What did come out though, NECA put out action figures with Freddy, and they also did Jason as well, and they came in these big boxes to kind of look like the NES game, essentially, and they have windows where it opens up and it has a little scene from Friday the 13th there, and in Nightmare in Elm Street. I, I took them out of the package already, but they had a nice little backdrop to them. So there's Freddy's right there. So he can stand in front of like one of the houses in the game. You can display them there like that. And then of course, gotta have NES Jason. And that's where you face Jason inside one of the cabins. Very cool. So they look awesome displayed like this. I have them on the shelf back there. Um, again, this one was a Comic-Con exclusive, and then they did a reissue. You can see on my box right there, it says uh, Comic-Con exclusive right there. I ended up picking this up um, from one of my friends. He was selling it, and I got it off of his hands. The newer one that came out is a little bit different. You get like another head sculpt, and when you open the box, it actually plays the music. So that's a little bit difference there. And then one other item I did get is this Jason NES mask, also put out by NECA. This is like a porcelain mask, essentially. There's the packaging right there. I, I cut it so you can remove it. So here's the mask itself. It has a nice heavy duty strap to the back of it. And then on the back right there, it says NECA. This is a lighter blue. 
And again, the material, it feels like it's ceramic. Like I wouldn't want to wear this out to a convention because worried that it would crack or break, but it's definitely heavy, a lot heavier than a plastic mask. For the toy, it's kind of like a see-through blue on the action figure here. Definitely uh, different from this mask here, but still works. But of course, you guys see my full Jason cosplay that I put together. That video has been doing great. People have been searching it and watching it. And then I have um, my movie that's attached to it. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, 8-Bit Slasher. It's a short film that I put together. A local brewing company named Two Roads was doing a Halloween um, contest where you would submit a short film. And it had stipulations in it. You had to show their beer, which was Rhodes Mary's Baby instead of Rosemary. Two Rhodes is the brewery. <laughs> so you had to show the beer, a coaster, a sticker, and use the line, um, use the road less traveled. So I put together the movie in maybe about three to four days traveling around, having various people play Jason since anyone could put it on because you couldn't tell if it was a different actor. They just had to be about the same stature as me so they could fit in the outfit. But it's a fun watch. I'll leave a link, of course, in the description if you guys want to check it out. But I want to show you right before that one more Halloween costume I put together that was really fun. So I went to Five Below and picked up their yoga mats that they had, foam mats, whatever it was. It was like five bucks for like a three pack glued them together, cut it out, went to Kinko's and printed it, and boom. It's a giant NES Mario 3 cartridge, but it's a costume. I also did the back as well. Let's throw it on. A little bulky, but it's pretty neat. It fits. You got pretty good arm movement like you could just sit there I mean I could still grab drinks eat or whatever and uh, yeah you could do any game I just you know made made the uh, label upscaled so you could do whatever game you want and just use some spray adhesive glue to put it on there and this was what the uh, inside of the mat looks like so I just glued it on backwards so it kind of gives that rigid look it's not exact but you get the idea, you're like, that guy's a big NES game. has the Big Bird Halloween costume and the Yoda Halloween costume for trick-or-treating. <laughs> well, everyone, I hoped you enjoyed the show tonight and I put a smile on your fleshy faces. Please let me know who your favorite horror icon is in the comments down below. And be sure to head over to Russ Lyman's Etsy page where he has custom collectibles, t-shirts, stickers, and even a new custom shirt with me, Zombie Russ Lyman. So pick one up today and be the spookiest kid on the block. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and slash the bell. I'm dying to have you as a subscriber. And as always, ghouls and ghosts, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun, bit by bit. <laughs>And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, Joey Ellis, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Joe Shivy, David Apuzo, Maynard, Brian Culpepper, TechWizX, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Kaz, Ayan Oshi, Gannon Man, and all my Patreon supporters. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later.